Understand by Cashy Guys. What a beautiful, what a beautiful song. What a beautiful time we live in. It's a terrible time we live in. It, there's good and bad. Guys, I don't know. I don't know why I started the video like this. Uh, Cashy tunes down a full step. I am currently tuned down a full step, but I'm going to teach this song to you in standard tuning. It's just going to sound higher, but all the chords are the same and all of that stuff. So let me get tuned up and we'll get right to it. Okay, I'm tuned up in standard tuning. So now we can begin. The introduction goes as follows. Put your middle finger on the third fret of the top string. You're going to play that top string with your thumb. I use my fingers, guys. You could probably use a pick, but I, uh, I think you should use your fingers. So we got thumb on the top string, then you're gonna play the third string from the top, then you're gonna play the second string from the bottom. So it's just boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna go, so that's just like a G chord or whatever, who cares? Then we go to a G major seven over B, one of my all time favorite guitar chords. Pointer finger, second fret on the second string from the top. Ring finger is gonna play the fourth fret on the third string from the top. Middle finger, third fret, second string from the top. It looks like a bar chord, but it is not a bar chord. Not a bar chord. Uh, the way they do in the recording is you kind of play the second and third strings from the top together. Sort of together, it's like bleh, like that. Then you play the third string from the bottom, and then you play the second string from the bottom. So it's like, it's beautiful. So, so far we have this G, then blong, bing, pow. Okay, great. Then we're going to a D sharp diminished middle finger, sixth fret, second string from the top, ring finger, seventh fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, fifth fret, third string from the bottom, and pinky, seventh fret, second string from the bottom. If it sounds ugly, that means you know you're doing it right. So when this chord is kind of tricky to get to. So starting from the second string, it was six, seven, five, seven. A little unusual. Here's what I do. We're coming from this chord. Then I get my middle finger in the right place and I start playing the chord note by note as I'm putting the chord together. So check this out. I'm going. There we go. Then we go to an E minor seven. Now we do have a little bar chord here. Pointer finger, seventh fret, second string from the top. You're gonna bar all of those bottom five strings with your pointer finger. Just smash down on all five of them. Ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string from the top and middle finger, eighth fret on the second string from the bottom. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, I do this little thing that he does sometimes. So what I do is I play the middle four strings all together. Then I add my pinky to the 10th fret of the second to bottom string. Then I'll play the strings again. Then I'll get rid of my pinky and I'll play the bottom three or four strings. So it's going. It's beautiful. Let's put those first four chords together. One, two, here we go. Boom, ping, pow, then bling, blong, blang. Okay, then, oh, so nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, great, moving on. A minor seven. The way that, that uh, he does it, the way that I'm gonna show you how to do it, take your thumb, play the fifth fret on the top string, take your pointer finger, smash it down on the bottom four strings. So it's a bar chord, but it's an unusual bar chord. We've got our little pincher bug thing going on. I don't know, I pincher, Whatever, you know what a pincher bug is. On this chord, you're gonna play the top string with your thumb, then play the third string from the top with your thumb, then you're gonna play the bottom four strings all together, but before you do, add your pinky to the seventh fret of the bottom string, so we go. Great, then get rid of your pinky and just play the bottom string, second from the bottom, third from the bottom, so it's. So nice. It sounds like careless, uh, whatever. Blah, ba, da, boom, blah, ba, da, right? Do you think, do you think it's, the song is inspired by that song? Okay, great. We did that. Then we go to a D7 sus. This is just put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the second string from the top, middle finger, fifth fret of the next one, ring finger, fifth fret of the next one, pinky, fifth fret of the next one. You could just use one finger and smash down on all four. But I believe Keshi plays it this way, and that's how I'm gonna do it. And we're playing 
I'm just kind of going like thumb, finger, fingers. I'm not too worried about the exact picking over here because the truth is every time he plays it, he plays it a little bit differently. So we've got boom, boom, ba. Then we're going to go to a D. This is a D7 sus. Did I say that? Well, I'm saying it now. Then we go to a D7 flat nine, middle finger, fifth fret on the second string from the top, pointer finger, fourth fret on the third string from the top. Your pointer finger does need to smash down on the next couple strings as well. So I'm actually pushing on the third from the top, third from the bottom, and second from the bottom with my pointer finger. And then your ring finger plays the fifth fret on the third string from the bottom. This is a D7 flat nine. So let's play the entire, that's the whole intro. It's a lot of chords, but you can handle it. Let's play it from the beginning. One, two, here we go. And then he starts singing and it's beautiful. All right, that's the intro. Then we go to the verse. Verse is almost exactly the same as the intro. The only difference between the verse and the intro is in the verse, he leaves out the D7 sus chord. He just goes straight to the D7 flat nine. So let's play through the verse one so you know what we're talking about. One, two, here we go. Then a blong power, bing, bing, bang, blong, bing, bang. Sorry, I'll stop talking. Great. That's the verse. He does that two times. So, so far we've got intro once, verse two times, then we go to the chorus. Are we ready to learn the chorus? I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Starts off with a C major seven chord, pointer finger, so the third fret, second string from the top, ring finger, fifth fret, third string from the top, middle finger, fourth fret, third string from the bottom, pinky, fifth fret, second string from the bottom. Play the middle of four strings. This is a quick review. That was three, five, four, five. You could do, he does some picking. He might go like, or he might go like, or he might just go, I don't, I don't even know. If you're not sure, just go one, two, play all four. Then we're gonna switch to a C minor seven. The way you do that, you have your C major seven here. Get rid of your pinky, move your middle finger one string down to the fourth fret of the second string from the bottom. And then with your pointer finger, you need to bar on the bottom five. And we go. Then after he plays those middle four strings on that chord, he does this cool little, this cool little lick. What he does there is he plays six on the bottom with his pinky, then plays five on the bottom with his pinky, then plays just the third fret, which your pointer finger's doing. So we just did C major seven, then C minor seven, six, five, three, then we go to a B minor seven. A B minor seven, just take the C minor seven and take the exact shape and move it one fret back. So now your pointer finger's on two, ring finger's on four, spit, so much spit. My face is turning red. Oh, guys, what's happening to me? And then your middle finger plays the third fret on the second string from the bottom. Play those middle four strings. And then what in the recording, he does a little, whoop, this little hammer on with his pinky. He plays the bottom string, second fret, and then hammers on with the pinky to the fifth fret and then pulls off immediately. It sounds good without it though, but you can go like. Ooh, that was terrible. Okay, I'm not gonna try that again. We're just moving on. And then he goes to an E, an E major. This is opens top string, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second string from the top, third, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top, pointer finger, first fret, third string from the bottom. With this E chord, you're gonna play the top string, then you're gonna play the third string from the top, then the third string from the bottom. So it goes. Then we do this cool little thing where he goes. So what's happening there is you're playing top string with your thumb and the middle two strings with your two fingers here. Then add your pinky to the second fret of the third string from the bottom. Pinch those same three strings again. Then move your fingers down to the second and third string from the bottom. Keep your thumb on the top string and play those three together. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Get rid of your pinky. So it went. 
just like that. Oh, what a beautiful, glorious sound. Then we go back to our A minor seven, which was thumb on the fifth fret of the top string, pointer finger barring the fifth fret on the next few strings, and then have your pinky play seven on the bottom string. So I just went top, third, then I played like the bottom three, and I think I added my thumb there. As you can tell, I'm not, like I said, I'm not worried about this hand. It's all about the chords over here, you guys. Then we go back to our D7 flat nine, which was middle finger on five of the second string from the top, pointer finger four on the third from the top, and your pointer finger has to bar down on the next two strings as well. And then your ring finger plays the fifth fret on the third string from the bottom. Let's play the whole chorus, because I, 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 I kind of, whatever, let's play the chorus. One, two, three, four. And then... That was better. That was so good. That was the chorus. After the chorus, he just goes back to the intro and plays the intro exactly the same. Because it's in the middle of the song now, I say we call it an interlude. What do you think? I think that sounds great. Then he plays the verse two times again. Then he goes back to the chorus again. Great. So we're just repeating stuff we already know. Then we go to the bridge. Are you ready for the bridge? I'm going to show it to you. The bridge is as suchly. We play a G chord. That's the same as like our first chord where we have the third fret on the top string. We're gonna play top string. And then what I do is I go top, third, fourth, fifth, like that. I said the number's weird, whatever. Top string, third from the top, third from the bottom, second from the bottom. Then we go to a B, it's like a B7. Guys, look at this. Middle finger, second fret, second string from the top. Pointer finger, first fret, third string from the top. And then ring finger, second fret on the third string from the bottom. And I'm just playing, you can add your pinky down to the second fret of the bottom string, but we're not even gonna play that note, so it doesn't matter right now. And you just play, I'm just playing second string from the top, third, fourth. So we've got G, B, then E minor, you should know, you know E minor, right? It's like top string open, second fret, second fret, and the rest are open, and we go E minor chord, and then we do this little thing. Do you remember that? Do you remember that thing we did? That little bum, 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 we're just doing that again. So we've got boom, goop, ba, do, ho, be, cow, E minor, and then we go back to A minor seven. This one, the one on the fifth fret. Then we go to the D seven flat nine. We've done it before. And then we play the whole chorus again. I don't know why I'm playing the whole thing. Nice G major seven chord. Guys, this is third fret top string. Skip the second string from the top. Ring finger on the fourth fret, uh, fourth fret of the third string from the top. Pinky fourth fret, third string from the bottom. Middle finger, third fret, second string from the bottom. And then you just play this G major seven. That's a lot of chords, but guys, that's, that's what he does in the song. We did it. I know he does a couple other little fancy things we left out, but we got a lot of them in there. And it's like, you know, so I, mm. 